Hi, I'm James Cito with Desert Design Development. And I'm Greg with Wright Welding. And we're here today for Spartan Armor Systems to discuss a DIY project on their dueling trees. Spartan Armor Systems is based in Tucson, Arizona. And they are known for their tactical vests and their body armors. But they also have a target division called the Target Man. And they create a whole bunch of both static and reactive targets. One of the branch of their uh, targets is also their DIY kits. You can get shooting trees, you can get uh, uh, Texas stars. And my big focus is their shooting trees. As an instructor, I'm constantly focused on, on being able to hit smaller targets, hit targets faster. And the dueling tree is a fun target that you and your friends can go out and just bang back and forth on. And it helps you become a more uh, faster shooter, a more uh, accurate shooter, because you're shooting at such small targets at such a fast pace. So uh, I talked with them about getting one of their systems in here for us to show you because it is a pretty cool project. It is also a fairly inexpensive project. And I'm gonna go right into it and show you what, what you have. In their normal kits, you have a dual entry system and it sells for a hundred bucks. What you get are four of these AR500 paddles. And you can also upgrade to AR550 if you want, but you know, we went with the standard AR500 because it's very popular. And again, we're talking about cost and we're shooting a lot more pistols than we are carbon stuff. But the kit comes with four paddles, four of these pivot tubes, and a little jig that you can use to space out each of these uh, pivot tubes so this way you don't screw up. The only thing that you have to add to it is going to be the angle iron. So it makes the kit a very inexpensive setup. But let's say you want to go with something larger, a six paddle setup. Well, they offer you the option to upgrade. For another 25 bucks, you can add two more paddles and uh, two more pivot tubes. And if you want an eight setup, same thing. Another 25 bucks, get another set of tubes. Again, the whole idea is to bring the cost down. Speaking of cost, obviously it's going to cost you gas money to get out to where you got to go. And then on top of that, you've got the cost of your ammo. It, it gets quite expensive really fast. So buying one of these target systems isn't always an option for a lot of us where you can just shell out the money and get one that's already done. A lot of us are pretty handy around the house, backyard welders, whatever. So you can buy these target kits and do it yourself, put it together yourself. Now again, as James said, the one thing that doesn't come with it is the angle iron. What you're going to need is an inch and a half by quarter inch angle iron, which you can get at any local steel supply place. When they send this kit to you, by the way, not only are they saving you money by you being able to do it yourself, but they send it in a flat rate box and they pay for the shipping. Spartan Armor Systems also offers a multi-purpose base, which is actually quite a small platform. It ships inside the regular box, so it comes to you, again, free shipping uh, via priority mail. But it is a small package that when you assemble it, it creates quite a large base for you to be able to put your larger metals targets on there. For today's DIY, we're doing a uh, dueling tree, but they also have bases for their static targets and the reactive targets as well. And because of the larger footprint, it can take all the extra weight. So real quickly, I just want to show you what we have here and put it together and show you just how big this thing can be and how supportive it can be. So again, you have the base right here, and you notice these little cutouts and holes are designed to use cotter pins and their legs. And this is how you assemble it. You got a notch that fits right inside there. That locks it right there in place. And with your cotter pin, you just shove it into the hole. Leg is on, just like that. So for the purpose of the video, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this whole thing together so you see just how big this thing is and uh, see how much uh, support it can provide for you. Boom, there you go. Nice, big, wide base, ready for your angle iron and for you to mount into the steel targets that uh, you'll be seeing today and uh, which you can find over at SpartanArmorSystems.com. We're now at Greg's workshop to get ready to prep for actual build. Greg, wanna walk us through this? Sure, no problem. What we're gonna do, we're gonna start out by uh, taking the angle iron, set it up on the chop saw, measure it out, mark it, cut it, which I've actually already done. Uh, then we're gonna take the material, prep it, deburr it, set it up on the welding table. We're gonna locate where each pivot tube's gonna go. And of course we have that handy jig that comes with the kit that will help us to locate those pivot tubes. Once we do that, we'll tack them in place before we weld them, just in case we have to move them. We don't have to cut welds apart. Then when it's all said and done, we'll go ahead and weld it up and go from there and then test fit it in the base. Now we're gonna be going with a uh, six paddle build today. So we need about uh, five and a half feet of actual angle iron and that's what we're about to do right now, is start cutting some angle iron. 
So once again, Spartan Armor Systems recommends that we use inch and a half by quarter inch thick angle iron, which you can get at just about any steel supply yard close to you. I want to thank Southwest Steel here in Phoenix for supplying our steel for us today. So once again, the directions call for a six paddle system to cut, measure and cut your piece at five and a half feet. It's already been marked, clamped in, ready to go. Here's the cut. pivot tube. But as an option for $30, you can upgrade to a little bit heavier uh, tube, and Grace can explain why it's benefit. The tube that comes with it, the pivot tube that comes with it, is 120 wall hot roll. You see the seam right there. That creates a seam on the inside too. It could create a little bit of a burr for the paddles when they're flipping back and forth. So if you go with this option, make sure and put that into the crevice of the angle iron. For the optional $30 upgrade, you can get this quarter inch wall DOM material. It's nice and smooth inside. It's also the thickness and material, just in case bullet strikes penetrate through the angle iron, gives you that added thickness so it won't damage the paddle and get the paddle stuck inside the pivot tube. And probably some uh, extra rigidity to prevent it from getting stuck. Okay. So what's the next step? Next step is, we've already pre-marked it as per the instructions, two inches down is where you're going to start. We're going to take our first pivot tube, drop it in right at two inches. We're going to tack that in place. After we tack that in place, we're going to take the jig fixture, jig, that comes with it. After that one's in place, this is just going to space it out as such. And then just continue on down the line, depending on how many pivot tubes you're going to put on the, on the spine. So let's uh, go ahead and tack down the first one. Time to get to welding. All right, so here we are going to start our first one tacking it together. So we're going to double check the measurement. Two inches down from the top is where the first one starts. Let's go ahead and throw a tack on it. Just a side note, I'm doing, I'm TIG, TIG welding it today. The best process, fastest and easiest, that's more accessible to most people is to go ahead and MIG weld it. However, TIG welding is what I do. Second piece, fixture, pivot tube, and attack. So once again, as uh, per the instructions, you're going to start with a two inch spacing from the top. You can see the reason for that is the paddle where it comes in. Give yourself a little bit of protection with the uh, angle iron. From there on out, the fixture locates these things perfectly. So the paddles will just slide right in, drop in place, all the way down the line, all the way to the end. They're all tacked in place now. Get to welding. All right, so once again, the fastest and easiest way to do this would have been to MIG weld it. But here at Wright Welding, what I offer is a TIG welding service. That's why I did the process with TIG. Now let's go ahead and set it up in the base. Now the base is already pre-lasered out at 22 degrees. When you drop it in the top one, the top hole, there's a bottom hole that's 
set back just enough to give you approximately a 22 degree angle. The reason you want the 22 degree angle is twofold. Number one, as we put the paddles in here, the weight of the paddles tends to fall. You see that there? It falls when you shoot it. It'll fall on the other side because of the lean of the, the spine. Second to that, when you hit these, it'll help give you a little bit of a, a downward deflection with the projectiles. You can imagine if this was 90 degrees up, bullet hits it, it wants to bounce straight back at you. That's no fun. What do you say, James? Let's go do some I, shooting. I think, uh, yeah, I think the project came out really well. Uh, it was quick and easy, and uh, yeah, let's, let's go and blast the sucker up. To the range. To the range. have uh, $125 for the six paddle uh, dueling tree uh, by Spartan Armor Systems and then we had uh, about uh, a $30 upgrade is optional upgrade for the pivot tubes and then the angle iron is $12 if you get it at a local steel supply 36 if you get it somewhere like Home Depot or Lowe's yeah. got to thank Southwest Steel for supplying the angle iron for today's project definitely definitely so uh, with the base you figure 125 uh, plus say 30, $36 for, for the angle iron from a local okay, Lowe's or Home Depot uh, you're in project for about $165 again we upgraded the tubes so another 30 bucks puts you at uh, about 195 and then the base awesome base uh, uh, highly recommend it it's, it's a hundred dollar unit and uh, it works great with the use of the angle iron for both st static targets and these dueling trees which forces you to have that lean and uh, of course everything from smart arm systems comes shipped free via priority mail because it fits in perfectly in those flat rate boxes so um yeah it was great again thanks Spartan arm systems for providing that and uh, Southwest Steel. if you enjoyed the video please subscribe to the channel uh share it uh, like us there is uh, links down below for you to get in contact with Spartan Armor Systems and Southwest Steel and, um, and uh, us if you want to. Again, I'm James with Desert Design Development. And I'm Greg with Wright Welding. And if you comment below that you like the video, we'll go ahead and do some more for you. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So thanks for tuning in and have a wonderful day. So uh, shoot some more? Yeah, yeah, let's shoot some more. All right, do it. Let's do it.